Well, in case you don't follow this ball club too closely, Bo Bichette is being talked about maybe as a player to watch this year, guys. He sure is, Matty V. Even though he's already looking like a key contributor, he's still a young player. But most people around this organization just think he's going to keep getting better and better. I agree with you, Dan. I think he can actually take a leap forward in his development this season. He can make a big difference for this team. I'm excited to watch him play live in this one and see what he's got. So next to bat will be Bo Bichette. Not shortstop. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell Daryl, you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Come on now, rip Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself. Spot. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he fouls this one off. Bichette aboard here at first with nobody out. Hey, we got it. No one better. Here we go. Yeah, Runner yeah. goes. This one's down to third. He's got it. And that's oh. out number one. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively with them. And let's take a look at outfielder Aaron Hicks. Hey, some guys figure it out at 21, some guys figure it out at 30, some guys never figure it out. Aaron Hicks is one of those guys who's come into his own. He's dynamic on both sides of the plate from an offensive standpoint and has an absolute cannon in the outfield to go along with great range. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Hey, hey stay hot now. Stay hot up there. Here comes the one-two. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through. A base hit. He'll come home with it. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. First, let me start with the positives on that play. Defensively, everything was absolutely perfect. Delivering a strike to the plate to cut down the run. From an offensive standpoint, you have to honor your third base coach right there. You have to pick him up. He had the stop sign on all the way. That was just a selfish baseball play. Next to hit is Bo Bichette, who's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. 
And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. to the Blue Jays first baseman. Well I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now he needs to think about this hitter. The 2 1 home. Strike two swinging. Three runs already home here. Hey get a good one here right now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Now a 5 nothing lead. Runner at first with two guns. In the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Set. Here's the nothing nothing pitch. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. Looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Domingo Herman answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. The first baseman, Vladimir Junior. Swing and a little tapper. Let's go now. One time. Again, a one-two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Blue Jays. Base is empty, two away. Now and that'll bring up the outfielder, Glenn Frazier. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a line drive. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 3 2 pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Bichette gathers it in. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Stepping in for the Jays, Bo Bichette trying to keep it going. A perfect 3 for 3 thus far. First pitch on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hey, if you take, get your pitch, huh? And there's ball, ball one. Right. Here we go. Here Springer here we go. leads off first with one away. A shortstop with a one and two count. Oh. 
Ground ball to second. This could be two. LeMahieu's got it. The second for one. On to Voigt. An inning ending double play. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They lead it six to two. Now with the plate is Hovashek. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And then the Yank just foul. From the belt, the pitch. Lined into right, a base hit. The throw home. But not in time as he's across with the run. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays forced to settle for. So now to the plate, Glaber Torres. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. The Chef picks it up cleanly. Up to second for one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, fire up the highlight reel. The Chef just had a game to remember with the bat. Boy, did he ever, Matt. This is exactly what this team was looking for from him. Yeah, if this is any kind of preview of what we'll be seeing from him going forward, it's going to be a real boost for this ball club. You can bet the, the boys in the clubhouse are fired up right now because of him. Jackson, this is the Redondo tape. Shout out to Nick Lee. Six months in Redondo. Beach right by the condo. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'ma need my sushi pronto. Shoot and stall like a Cosmo. Make you move like a Mambo. Spank a hater like a Bongo. They be sleeping Mano. Girl sweet like a Mongo. Gets a taste to the Tango. Strum like a banjo. Then hit the sign in our sandals. Flow hot like a condo. Ain't no place that I condo. On a mission like Rambo. Self portrait like Vango. My whole team really on deck. On deck. Chuck Norris about to go flex. Nike floating about to get checks. Pump it up. About to get back. Get back. He's worth looking. Name Shrek. With the money, with the power. Respect on deck like a porch. Move fast like a porch. Try the beat like a horse. The flames like a punch. Now I'm riding up to two. You would think I'm in the six. Six. Born Jan 26, 36. But I never the brick. When I shoot, I never brick. When I shoot, it swish. Fourth quarter. Ten on the clock. Follow through us in the wrist. I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm about it, I'm about it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I bought it, I bought it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm with it, I'm with it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, you dig it, you dig it, squad hustle like a relay, run it back like a replay, no time for that he say, got care about what she say, self care like eat, pray, give thanks before I eat, pray, but tell a hater that I eat, pray, I'm like Miami, Got the focus like a sensei. Had to carve it out my own way. You ain't got the answers like sway. Friday night just got paid. Bought a coat that's just suede. Leveled up like 12th grade. Sweetest tab will call me shot day. Black man, and you could call me blade. Work hard, play hard, that's a motto. That's a motto. Pop, pop, that's the sound of the pop, pop. Wake up, grind hard, full throttle. Full throttle. Supreme good, shout out to Aristotle. Aristotle. Team winning, know it's kind of hard to swallow, but we all give thanks. Mahalo, it's auto. Medicare, we get it, and we gonna keep it. Doesn't put the folders in our cup and just go. Yeah, so. yeah. I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm about it, I'm about it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I bought it, I bought it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm with it, I'm with it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, you dig it, you dig it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm about it, I'm about it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I bought it, I bought it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good. And now, Marcus Semien. He scored after Seven knocking eight. a single in his last at-bat. 
Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Goodness. 0 oh, 2 now. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Lourdes Guriel. As he grounds one briskly to short. Scooped up. Throw on the first. And now the Jays are down to their final out. The third of the eight. Blue Jays down to their final out now. And that'll bring in Kevin Biggio. Now the first pitch. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. That gets down and the inning continues. What an unbelievable at bat right there in the ninth inning. Game on the line to get yourself on base to create an opportunity for your boy right here to be a hero. Stepping up is Danny Jansen. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number two, Joe. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Gone! And with two out in the ninth, they have taken the lead. Biggio. Set to deliver the 0-1. One. One ball, one Didn't strike. threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. He makes the catch, and the Royals have finished off a three-game sweep here on home soil as this one is over.
be happy. Keep working today. That smile will come one day. Don't worry. You're gonna be happy. Keep fighting today. That smile will come one day. My friends come for free. When you get it free, you will lose it freely. So you better know. Work hard is the best way. My friends come for free. When you get it free, you will lose it freely. So you better know. Work hard is the best way. Let's jump up, come from fight, and go through your darkness. You will find your light. Don't worry, you gotta be happy. Keep working today. That smile will come one day. Don't worry, you gotta be happy. Yeah.